Patrick. What's good, YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to charge for jerk removal. Before we get into this video, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. We decided to do this video today because we often see comments on our videos saying that we undercharge and that we should charge more. So when charging for drug removal first, you need to know all your expenses. And in our case, since I own my truck and trailer, we only have to pay $50 a month for business insurance, which gives us a million dollars in coverage, $48 for auto insurance, and about $250 a month for leads and of course we pay for dump fees and gas well we're located at in north carolina we pay a 12 dollar dump fee for a pickup truck and trailer load as long as it's not a dump trailer this uh pickup truck and a trailer it's gonna be 12 dollars sir yes ma'am okay so we've seen a comment where someone said they have to pay 20 dollars to dump a mattress in new york and if this is the case for you of course you will have to price higher so you can make a profit the same would be for if you have to rent your truck or you make monthly payments towards your truck you would have to charge accordingly but that's not the case for us so we can charge someone 80 dollars for the same job and profit because we don't go to the landfill for one job we do about three to four small jobs before we go to the landfill and then we only have to pay 12 dollars to get rid of it so just know for everyone that's in different states and cities that we will have different drug removal prices one way to go about pricing your junk removal jobs is going on Google and searching established companies in your area. For us, it's Junk Kings. Now, on their website, we just look at their prices and see how much they charge per load. And we charge slightly less than that because our overhead is lower than what theirs is. So remember, small businesses like ours don't have it as many expenses as Junk Kings. So we're able to charge less than them and still profit. You can also go on Thumbtack and see how much the average price is per truckload in your area and we usually charge a little bit more than the average price in our area. So we charge about a pickup truckload, which is a good place to start if you don't know how much you wanna charge. We charge between 140 and 160 for one pickup truckload, 240 and 260 for two pickup truckloads, and so on, adding $100 per truckload. We do charge in a range because there's factors that we consider like steps and the location of the jump and just how difficult the job is gonna be overall. Yeah, and our truck bed is eight foot long, but with the toolbox is six and a half foot and our trailer is 10 feet and we priced that for two pickup truck loads. And our new minimum now is $80, even if it's just one item. But remember, every junk removal job is different, so you should price accordingly to the job. We have now also added a demolition fee because you guys gave it to us in the comments on that video where we did uh, how to get started in junk removal where we did that job and we saw it down the swing set. So if two we swing sets. Yes, two. So now if we have to use the Sawzall and the sledgehammer, we're going to charge you an extra fee depending on how big the item is. So mm -hmm. Thank, <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Each junk removal job is different, so make sure you charge accordingly. Some jobs are going to be harder, they're going to take longer, and then some jobs are going to be really easy. So make sure you charge accordingly to the job. And of course, as time goes on, you're going to upgrade your equipment and add more expenses. So this means you will have to charge more if you want to stay in profit. Like this video if you gain any value whatsoever and drop a comment down below what was your favorite tip. If you haven't already, subscribe because most people that are on our channel aren't subscribers. So make sure y'all do that. Subscribe. <laughs> and of course, see y'all at the top. Ain't about me average. I just pick up the phone, keep counting and adding. Keep counting and stacking. I made the money appear like this shit was some magic. Stay down, be raised. And one day you might get the key to the action.